Well, guess what our project is today? I'm in a bathroom again. <laughs> Seems like every time I do a video, I'm in a bathroom. <laughs> Here's the toilet area and there's no place to install or to have towels in here. There's only a towel ring. And if you watched that before, you saw how I installed that towel ring. And I also installed a toilet paper holder next to the toilet, right up against the cabinet. Cause I didn't want to put it on that tile or else I would have had to drill holes and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so the project today is, voila. I'm gonna install this grab bar, or grab bar, it's a towel bar, okay? And I actually took a picture of the existing one because I wasn't sure which one that was. I took a close-up picture of that, and I ran to the store and I got the very same one because it's always nice to match existing conditions. So this is a nickel-plated one and the trim matches and everything. So it's time to put this up. You want to learn how to do this? Stick around. Now obviously the first thing you have to do is make sure that you got enough room. So I measured this and I got a 24 inch towel bar and I've got a little bit more than 24 inches here. 24 inches is about from there, from here to about there. And I think I'm gonna have enough room to where I can put that in there and then the towels will fit just next to this other hand towel. This is where a hand towel is gonna to be, okay? And most towel bars, you can get them 24 inches and 18 inches. Sometimes if you're lucky or if you special order, you can get a 32 inch. So that's the first thing. Now what I could have done was um, I looked at the store and the 18 inch was like 75 cents cheaper than the 24 inch. So if you don't have enough room for 24 inches, don't think you have to go down to an 18 inch. You can always take the actual rod and you can cut it down to fit. If you need a 20 inches, 22 inches, 23 and a half, whatever, you can still make it work. Get the 24 inch and cut her down. All right, let's see what we got here. I haven't pulled this out yet. I'm looking for something in particular, and that's what it is right there. You know what this is? It's just a piece of paper, but if you're not paying attention, you wouldn't even know what it was. You might think it's, a, it's just garbage. Well, look at the end, see there? Right there, and there's a continuous line on it. That's your grab bar template. And I can hold that up there and I can level it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to try to measure this. What you could do if you didn't have the template, you'd have to take this apart. And then you'd have to hold it and, and measure it from, from center to center or hold a hole with your tape measure. Hold your mouth just right. Make sure it fits and find out later, oh, your, your rod is twisting in there and there's a little bit of slop in there, you know. And you think, oh, I should have made it about a quarter inch shorter. Why didn't I do that? Well, take all the guesswork out of it and use the template. Now, the thing I like on this particular wall is it's wood. So I don't have to mess around with installing plastic anchors and all that. And, but I'm kind of curious to see if this includes the anchors, which I think it does, because my next one goes, where do you think? Yeah, goes on the sheetrock wall. This particular one doesn't. Okay, I'm looking at that, and those just kind of pull off of there. You see how hard that would be to measure that, to hold it exactly just right, and then measure from end to end, and, and figure out, you know, if you've got this, if you've got this straight or crooked or whatever, and then not knowing exactly, okay, where do, where do the holes go? Do they go up or down on the little bracket assembly? You know, take the guesswork out, do yourself a favor, read the directions. Yes, each grab bar, towel bar comes with directions. So just peruse that a little bit, will you? I know, I know you hate to read directions, I don't like them either, but it's always a good thing to get in the habit of doing just, just to kind of make sure that you got the, you got these little brackets. You know, here, here's the little bracket. Well, 
Does it go up and down like that, or does it go sideways? Sometimes they go sideways, sometimes they go up and down. It just kind of depends what manufacturer has for, for what towel bar. And I, I kind of like this. Here's, here's some little screwy anchors to go into sheetrock. That's kind of slick. I'm going to like that for my next install. Okay, so it looks like everything's in here. So make sure that when you get your package at home, you know, go and look for all these things. Don't think that they left them out. I've, I've had it one time where somebody installed one of these, or was trying to install one, they threw everything away and come to find out, they threw away the little anchors, the screws, and all that kind of stuff. They found these, but they didn't have the screws, they didn't have the plastic anchors. And look, they even give you, you see that? That's an Allen wrench. What the heck is that for? Well, I'll figure that out by reading the directions. And we're going to need that probably to, to install these. See there? Here's a little set screw. And that is for that Allen wrench. And when you're installing these too, another tip is make sure that those are facing down on the wall. Sometimes it cracks me up. I'll see, I'll see one facing up and that's because they did they put the right one on the left side and the left one on the right side so that these are facing up instead of down you want those things facing down you don't want to see that you want it to look all nice and finished oh yeah hmm what height should i put it at well Lots of times what I've seen people do is if they have a double one, they'll start the top one at five feet and come down two feet and install the bottom one. Well, in this case, because we're above the toilet, we only have enough room for one. Okay, so here's the toilet here. And, I mean, you could put one way up high, but that might look kind of funky. And because we have the towel ring there, there's really, it's going to look best to just put one here. Okay, so if I have if I have it at five feet, that looks I don't know that looks a little low to the toilet tank lid. I've only got you know four or five inches uh, from the toilet tank, and um, you know in case they in case they want to put something down there, you got enough room for that. I think I'm going to make this up just a hair higher. So whatever it kind of looks comfortable to you. And for me, probably right up in there looks, looks like it's going to be fine. So if I kind of take a point and eyeball that, okay, I'm about right there. And I'm eyeballing that at 63 or even 64. I'll make it 60. I think I'm going to make it 63. I'm just going to go with that, okay? Okay, so before I put any marks, I'm kind of at a tight area here, huh? But I'm glad I've got my template. I can hold that up there. It's got the outside pieces here too, the holders, and I can kind of line that up, taking in consideration I'm still going to have enough room for my, for my hand towel ring. And I don't want to get too close to the wall, but yet I don't want to get too close over here. I'm going to kind of, here's a line here. I'm going to kind of get off of that, and I'm going to make it somewhere in there. Okay, so off to the side, I'm going to measure 63. If you had somebody with you, you could, you could hold up the tape measure and measure, or you can just, you can eyeball that and say, okay, I want it right like that. And you can put a hole there. But I'm going to put the 63 off to the side. Okay, and you want to use a, a, a pencil. Don't use a pen or anything. I'm just going to put one little dot here so I can see that. And I can erase that later, take a rag, and wipe that off. Okay? Now I'm going to hold that template up. What do you suppose I'm going to use? I could use some thumbtacks. I could use, I could use the, the screws that came with it even, if I wanted. You know? But I've got some small little screws with the, with the tip on there. Okay? Like that. And I'm going to use that, and I'm just going to... Hold this template up there. 
And I want to get off of this line here a little, just a little bit so my trim is going to be off of there. That should give me enough room. And I'm going to look at that and I'm, that looks pretty good right there. Now, what I can do, I've got a scratch all and right in the middle, I can just put a hole like that. Okay. Now I can even start the screw because I know this screw is going to be back behind everything else, right? If I had a thumbtack, I could use that. If I had just some tape, some scotch tape, some masking tape, whatever, I can do that. Okay. Uh, for this, for this one, I've got the screw. I'm going to use the screw. I. Just going to get that in there a little bit, like that. Okay, now, now I can hold this up here and gently swivel that up. I can hold, make sure I don't, I have all the slack out of here. I can hold a level on that line and raise that up and down like that. Or I can measure from the ceiling on down. Usually your ceilings are level. If you don't have a level, um, you're better off if you measure from your ceiling on down instead of your floor in case your floor is cracked and if it's got if it's raised up if your tiles not installed properly whatever okay so I'm gonna take just a minute here and I'm gonna measure from the ceiling down and we're just gonna see how close it is I've got almost 32 inches in fact I got 32 inches on the nose and so I know where that went, right? So I'm going to hold this off to the side, measure down 32, like that. And I happen to have a level here too, okay? So I can hold that up there. And that's another good thing about the template. Uh, that's in my way of template, okay? Try that. Because if you don't have the template, and if you don't have a level long enough, you may not be able to get from point to point. Now, if you don't have a two-foot level, I think this is a two-foot level, um, you, can, you can have just a little torpedo level, nine-inch level, anything, because you're just going to hold it on that line, okay? So I'm lined up over here, and I'm going to put that on the line. Man, that looks pretty good. Looks really good. It's right on. Okay. Get the slop out of that. Hold that there. Take my punch right in the middle where I want it. And I can just do that business. I can take my other screw and I can screw it in there. Trying to show you how to do this on your own. You know, if, if you had a helper, they could just hold that up there and you could quickly mark it, couldn't you? And then you wouldn't have to put any holes. But see, those two holes are going to be covered up once I take that off. Okay? So now there's two little holes exactly where, where the mounting bracket is, and I can just split the difference with my awl. I like to split the difference, that way I can still adjust it up or down. I don't want to put to the very top of the hole, the top of the hole, or top of the hole, the bottom of the hole. And I don't have enough room if I need to slide it into place. You know what I mean? I'm just going to do that. I do the same thing over here. See, you didn't think you could do it, but you can. See how easy this template makes it? Now I can just remove this template and be done with it. Okay, simple as that. You've got this exactly where it needs to go. Kaboom!